Welcome back to the Ford Center. We're in Evansville, Indiana, the championship game of the NCAA Division II and National Tournament. you got to go back to, you know, September, October, when were we going to have a season at all? And we're sitting here now playing for a national championship, playing on CBS. You know, people get to listen, watch at home. And so it, it's uh, got to be thankful that uh, it's happening and, and we've made it to this point. One thing to think about is probably everybody know gymnastics, don't they? Okay, so everybody knows the balance beam, right? Okay, so the balance beam, if I were to put a balance beam out here on the floor, everyone in here could walk across it, okay? And they wouldn't think twice about walking across it, right? Okay, I raise it up a little bit, everybody probably still could walk across the balance beam, okay? Maybe a little bit more wobbly, okay? Maybe a little bit more thought goes into it. It gets higher, let's say it's now 200 feet in the air and it's outside, okay? All of a sudden, it becomes more difficult what you did right here, up there. Part of the reason is, and the only reason is, is your commitment here, okay, had zero distractions. You fully committed to what you had to do, when in reality you didn't have to. And as it gets higher, the commitment needs to get stronger, but for most people, the commitment gets weaker and they get into a game like tonight, okay? And they commit less to what they know they can do. They commit less to guarding the ball, to boxing out, to doing your offense. Because they're distracted by so many other, oh, what if I take this step? What if this happens? What if this happens? Doesn't matter, commit. Commit, fully commit to that. What if the wind picks up? Commit even more. What if it starts to wobble? Commit. Commit to everything that you do with raw aggression as though that balance beam is on the floor. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Down the lane to the bucket, lays it up and in. Trevor Hudgens with the drive to the bucket on the left side. So it gets up 27 to 17 after falling behind to start this game. Northwest used a 9-0 run to take the lead and they've had it since. They just have so many weapons, John. And there's, not, there's not one person out there at any point where you just you can say you don't have to guard. And that was, that's what makes it so tough. You can't uh, fall asleep against West Texas. They came from double digits uh, deficit uh, in the matchup against Lincoln Memorial and pulled out the victory. And a good half it was for Northwest Missouri State. They'll go into the long corner with a 48 to 29 lead over the West Texas AM Buffaloes. This is far from over. It's far from over. Okay? You've got to go back to your balance beam mentality. Okay? You've got the balance beam that's still up in the air. Okay? You have to make sure okay, that you maintain your commitment level, your commitment level to just keep one step in front of the other and win a possession. It's just a, a really fun style of basketball to watch, and it's a, it's a very unselfish style. It doesn't matter who scores. Um, it just matters what's the, the best shot we can get as a team. Um, and it all comes back to just the culture and how they work. As Bernard got it to Hawkins. Hawkins now with the drive with the one-handed right-handed slam is good. And the Bearcats now can begin their celebration at midcourt as they pick up their third national title. Hey man, we play for, baby. That's what we do. Don't need your glory. In my mind is a fierce desire. You better go. 